Okay, this tutorial here is going to be drawing the graph of y equals tan theta, and what we're going to do, because of uh, the way that uh, it works, and the way the tan graph is not readily derivable from the unit circle, we're going to use the calculator to do it. So take your calculator, and I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we want to do with the, with the tan graph is we want to go into window. And I've had, I st well, check your mode first. As you can see, I still have it in radian, so I'm going to use the radian uh, technique here. Uh, so here I'm going to, and it's still set up pardon me, from, my, from my last graph. So if we go back into the window now, okay, so the x maximum and minimum are negative 2 pi and positive 2 pi. Okay, I didn't type in the decimal numbers, I typed in 2 pi and negative 2 pi. The calculator uh, converted them, if you remember. The scale on the x is pi over 2 radians. And then I changed the y for the tan graph, the y maximum and y minimum. Down here was, we had for sine and cosine, we know that the maximums were uh, 1 and negative 1, and the minimum was negative 1. Whereas in this case here, we have a, a minimum. Uh, I'm going to put a negative 5 and a positive 5 in because I know that the tan graph uh, is larger than 1 when, we, when, it, when it revolves around because it's a relationship between sine and cosine. And then the y scale, I'm still going to put in 1. So once you have that set up like that, you then push your y equals button and put type in a tangent and then bracket it, x, the variable x here bracket and then hit the graph button up here and you can see what you're going to get here. Hmm. You get the graph in here and you have get these here straight up and down points. Now those are asymptotes and what they represent are there if you know the tangent graph that's where the tangent graph is being divided by zero whenever if you remember tangent is sine over cosine so whenever cosine occurs at a zero, you have one of these because you can't divide by zero, so it's undefined. And it approaches it, but it never touches it. So it approaches infinity there, but it never ever gets to touch that zero. It just gets bigger and bigger and smaller and smaller down here. So at this here, pi over two radians and negative pi over two radians, that's when cosine is zero, right? And then if you go on way out here to 270 degrees or 3 pi over 2 radians and negative 3 pi over 2 radians or negative 270 degrees, you get another asymptote. So an asymptote occurs, if you look at it, every pi radians, okay, or every 180 degrees if you like. So that's the first thing you do with the tan graph, is you know that there's going to be asymptotes. So if we're going to draw it by hand, and I'm going to zoom back out now so that we can get the whole graph in here. Okay, so if I sketch what I have here, so we know that tan is 0 at 0. That we can tell. 0 divided by 0, you know, it's just where it starts. So we have our asymptotes. So put our asymptotes at 90 degrees, or pi over 2 radians, and use dotted lines. That's usually how asymptotes, or dashed lines if you like. And here's the one at negative. Pi over 2 radians or negative 90 degrees. So there are our two asymptotes. Now we have another set of asymptotes, one, two away. If you look at our scales from here, one, two away. So two 90 degree uh, parts or 180 degrees away. So we'll also put them in there as well. Okay, so we still have uh, one more segment here on the very end as well. But if we look at our graphs, as it goes to positive 90 degrees, tangent is going to increase to a maximum. 
So it's about, if you remember <clears throat> the tangent graph of 45, okay? If you remember this 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, and if you look back in your book, what is the tan of 45 looking at that triangle? Well, you can look back or use your triangle, our 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, or look back in your charts, but we know that the tan of 45 degrees, or pi over four if you like, radians, is one. So about the one value, and this is where I have one here, one, two, three, four, at one, it's gonna be about there, okay? And then it's gonna increase and increase and increase, but never touch this thing. So it increases up like this, and keeps on going up like that, never touching it there. Okay, and the same thing is possible here, negative one down here at about 45 degrees, or pi over four. And then it goes down, kind of comes out like this, and goes down and never touches it there. Kind of a bad sketch there. Okay, and as you look at the next group, well, as you look at the next set of asymptotes, you know the center point of zero is right there. Center point of zero is right there. Negative pi and positive pi. So again, when you go to, when you go to the right side of that pause point, you're going to have the same shape here, same increase when you go to the right side of it. And when you go to the left side of it, it's going to drop down similar to this side. So go to the right of this, do a similar kind of tan graph like that, and then go to the left of it, go to the right of it here on this part, and the left of it here, Okay, so there's my, I kind of made these a little bigger. And then, okay, the, the point would be, if we're looking at this final one here, the point would be right there. So we're going to the left of it here, right? Because that next asymptote would be over here. So we're going to the left of it, so go down to the left of it like this. And this one would be going to the right of it, because it would be over here. Okay, now as you can see, I should have probably went, I got a little steep here. This one I should have went to here, not to the half point, to the one point there, but they should all be the same shape, never touching the horizontals there or the asymptotes. And that's the y equals tan graph. Now you can see that the period of the tan graph, it repeats itself every 180 degrees. See that? So it doesn't have quite a big, as big a period. It has half the period that you would see on sine or cosine. Okay, and that's the y equals uh, tan theta graph. And that concludes uh, most of what we're gonna do in section uh, 2.1. There's a little bit of work on there in calculating periods, but it's just the application of the formula m minus m over two. So I'm not going to sh show that in this case. Instead, I'm going to remind you to look at the summary of what happens for each of the graphs. And there's a good summary table on page 46 of your textbook. Okay, that states for each of the graphs what the period is, what the amplitude of each is. Of course, the amplitude of this is not going to be defined because it keeps on going forever and ever. What the happens partway through, halfway through the graph, what happens quarterway through the graph, and what the domain and range are. And <coughs> excuse me. Here we'd have a here we'd have a range that's infinity and negative infinity, whereas the range on the other two graphs, sine and cosine, are negative one and positive one. And you can you look at that table and keep that table in mind whenever you're working with sine, cosine, and tangent. Page 46 in your textbook. In our next tutorial, we'll be looking at what happens when you manipulate things inside each of these types of graphs.